So it's already November 15. Hindi pa ako nakapag-set up ng Christmas tree. I got busy. Ang plano ko before is right after sana ng Halloween. But then again, I wasn't able to. So anyways, my daughter is with me. She's helping me right now in setting up the Christmas tree. And as you can see, she has already started. So ito yung Christmas tree na nabili namin like 5 years ago na sale. Binili ko yan 5 days before Christmas and... I got it for a really good price, like $38 only. And then yung mga ornaments ay nandito sa box na to. So, yeah. Uh, it was bought the same time as when the Christmas tree was bought. And then, meron ako dito yung na Christmas tree which I bought sale last year. So, ito, nilabas ko na siya. So, nandito siya tabletop nitong dining table namin. And this is the latest Christmas ornaments that I bought from winners para dito. Ayan. Yung Christmas tree, meron na siyang uh, nakalagay na Christmas light. So far, everything's still working, which is good. Okay, pasensya na sa ingay kasi nagbuburo uh, pala ng kape yung anak ko. Here, so she's opening already the Christmas balls. So I was just reusing some old boxes for these Christmas balls. Siyempre, I have influenced the color. So blue is my favorite color. And my daughter's favorite color was turquoise. Yan, kaya ito yung mga binili namin before. You wanna open that now? That is for the small Christmas tree. So yeah, you can open it now. Yeah, and these are the ornaments naman na medyo delicate. Kaya nilagay ko siya sa ibang box. Yan, yung mga uh, liyamanin. <laughs> Yan yung mga golden niya. Yan, cute, di ba? It's your little crown. Let's put on you. Let's put on you. Yan, ito. Yan, her little crown. Butterfly. Birds. Snowflakes. Yeah, and this is my favorite, itong crown. Mga ornaments to that I bought in different occasions. I bought them at Canadian Tire. So this Christmas tree, I bought it at Superstore before. Pero itong mga ornaments sa Canadian Tire ko na siya binili. Oh, there's one set of Christmas balls pala that I bought also at Superstore. If I'm not mistaken, ito yon. Ito, ito, mag yung mga walang glitters. Yeah, these ornaments, uh, sino to? What is this again? Taga. <laughs> this is a chipmunk or squirrel? Taga. Uh, and this is, what is this? A bird. And then, nilagay na rin ng daughter ko yung Christmas tree skirt which I bought at Dalarama for $4 only. Kaya lang andun yung opening kung saan bumubuga yung heater, no? So that's why we cannot like enclose that area. So we're gonna leave that open. Yan, so kagandahan lang, no? Pag medyo malalaki na yung mga anak nyo. Yan, sila na mismo. Sila nag... Actually, yung daughter ko siya na mismo nag-volunteer this year na siya na mag-decorate. Samantalang when they were smaller, talagang pilit-pilit ko pa sila ang dalawang magkapatid na to help me na mag-decorate. Okay, so this time I will just let her do it. Okay, so what's your technique? What do you have in mind? How are you gonna design the Christmas tree? Build it like Lego. Oh, okay. So you're separating the pieces first. You're like sorting the Christmas balls first by color? Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, so this time I'm giving her the floor. She can decorate it the way she wants it. So ito, sinusort muna ng anak ko. Yung different ornaments. Definitely sa Philippines, ang decoration maaga, no? I believe some people as early as September, October, they're already putting up their Christmas trees. I remember nung ako bata pa, 
We put up our Christmas tree early November then. Early November. I remember my Lola before. That's what we do. Yeah, and as Filipinos, diba, ang Christmas, that is the most awaited holiday for us. And everybody's happy kasi napakahaba ng celebration. We start celebration on Christmas up to New Year. I remember especially when I was a teenager. I really love the season kasi yun yung time na maraming kainan and then you go out with friends you go from different houses you go to your friends houses diba and uh, we ate a lot yeah those were the days and so somehow kahit na nandito tayo sa Canada we still pass on some of the traditions to our children yeah so kahit na wala kaming masyadong kamag-anak dito sa Canada we still try to celebrate Christmas on our own we do decorations. We also do exchange gifts. Kahit na kaming apat lang. Yeah, we do that. Um, and then we're also planning to make the traditional parol. I tried that last year. I did it one time. Isang maliit na parol lang. It took me one hour. So anyway, that was uh, that was the learning session. Hopefully this time, we can do it faster. Ayan, so pinigyan ako ng trabaho ng daughter ko. Lagyan ko daw ng tali yung mga... Christmas balls kasi like ito, nawala yung mga tali niya para pansabit. And so aside from decorating, we also celebrate yung Noche Buena at saka Medya Noche for New Year. So, uh, although we don't wait for the midnight anymore just like we used to do in the Philippines, uh, we usually do it now during dinner time and then after that, either mag-exchange gift na kami and then after the exchange gift, we do movie night during Christmas or New Year. Actually, nami-miss ko yung pagkaganyan, pag Pasko, yung pupunta ka sa mga bahay-bahay ng mga kaibigan mo, tapos kumakain kayo, ganyan. So, dito naman, since yung ibang kapitbahay, kakilala naman namin. So, pagkaluto, namimigay lang ako ng food sa kabila. Ganyan. And then, dito sa neighborhood namin, napansin ko maybe some don't celebrate Christmas kasi not everyone else is decorating their homes. Of course, Canada is highly diverse, no? So, we have different religions coming from different countries. So, yeah, ganun talaga. Here you go. You want red ornaments to mix up on that one? Mm. Okay. Yeah, no, actually, I like your idea of the red one. Para there's like popping colors, no? Yeah. Para it's not dull. Yeah. Tama. And we have to add red in the one. Right, yeah, I know. Yeah, kasi, yeah, medyo, yeah, I made it very simple lang yung parang blue, turquoise, and some gold, ganun. Sabi din ng husband ko in the past year, sabi, dull daw. So, yeah, maybe it's good to put red this time, no? Para merong popping colors. Yeah, and I don't put ribbons too. So, okay na yon. So, parang yung red na Christmas ball siguro instead of ribbon. Hmm. See? At least yung daughter ko may initiative na rin. She knows na rin what is nice, no? And guys, so ito yung uh, Singapore Christmas ball na nirigalo sa akin ng friend ko sa Singapore. Yeah, because she knows that I really love Singapore. So, nung dumalo ko doon noong 2019, binigyan niya ako two pieces ito eh. Tapos, dito sa kabila, yan yung Merlion and then yan yung pangalan ng country. <laughs> Gusto rin sana namin yung lantern na, electric lantern na parol. Electric lantern na parol. Parang <laughs> kalo-kalo yung sinasabi. Gusto rin sana namin yung parol na, yung makulay. Meron dito sa Canada, sa Seafood City na bibili siya. I think yung pinakamura is around, if I'm not mistaken, 275, 300. Yun na yata yung pinakamaliit. And then up to 500 and 500 plus na uh, yung mas malaking sizes. Pero, yeah, it's not part of my budget this year still. Yeah, we'll see next year. Okay, so ito na yung mga naunang nilagay ng daughter ko. Sinusort out niya ulit yung mga ibang colors pa. So, these are next. Turquoise. Okay, so gumawa lang ako ng kape kasi I'm doing my work here. Habang yung daughter ko ay nagde-decorate ng Christmas tree. Kape tayo. Namiss ko tuloy ang ano, bibingka, tsaka putubongbong, diba? Kapag kapas ko, yun ang 
yun ang madami. Tapos, simbang gabi. Lalo nung college ako sa Manila noon, nagpupunta ako ng simbang gabi. Kakamis. Ayan. So, so far, ito na yung nagawa ng anak ko. Pero, she's posing for now. Kasi, dapat ito yung mga huling ilalagay. Ito, mga golden na to. But then, she wanted to buy the red Christmas balls muna. She's gonna go out today. She's gonna get them. And then, we're gonna continue setting up the Christmas tree later. Okay, see you in a while. Palagi nahuhuli kami nagsiselebrate ng Christmas dito sa Canada kasi, kasi advance kami ng more than 10 hours, di ba? So kapag bisperas palag ng Pasko dito, yung mga nasa Pilipinas, mga nagsiselebrate na. So, so yun nakikipag-webcam na kami with the families, relatives, or friends kasi nga, kasi nga mas ahead sa oras sa Asia so mas naunang nagsiselebrate ng Christmas. Yan, napapansin namin kasi pag once na busy na yung traffic sa Facebook, lahat na nagbabatian na ng Merry Christmas. Tapos kami dito nagpiprepare pa lang. Yeah, and I do remember yung first time na nag-celebrate kami ng Christmas outside the Philippines. That was year 2009 nung uh, nag-Singapore muna kami. Grabe nakakalungkot yung, yung adjustment kapag yung galing ka ng Pilipinas because the way how we celebrate Christmas, we were with our families and friends, di ba? Sobrang saya. Knowing Singapore na very diverse then not everybody celebrates Christmas kasi nga, they have different religions. Yung iba, they don't celebrate Christmas but they have different dates for New Year. Yeah, I do remember before it felt so sad. Although, marami akong mga kaibigang Pilipino doon. Kasi karamihan mga katrabaho ko doon ay mga Pilipino. So, at least somehow, medyo naibsan naman yung lungkot. We did a Christmas party as a group. Tapos nag-exchange gift kami. Ganyan. Until nag-move na kami dito sa Canada. So, and then over the years, so yun na nga, ang aming celebration ng Christmas has become simpler. So, masasanay ka din pala. Actually, kami sanay na. And then the last time na nag-celebrate kami ng Christmas sa Pinas was uh, Christmas of 2018. So nagbakasyon kami ng isang buwan. We went home early December 2018. And then we came back here at Canada early January of 2019. So yun sinadya talaga namin yun kasi gusto namin ma-experience ng mga bata ang Pasko sa Pinas. And we really enjoyed kasi maraming party na naganap. We did a lot of karaoke. We did a lot of eating. Tapos, namasyal kami sa mga relatives. Yeah, so aside from Christmas and New Year, so maraming mga celebrations kasi the fact lang na pagdating doon, pagdating pa lang namin, celebration na kaagad. And then in the family, maraming may birthdays ng December. So like every other week, merong kainan. So nakakatawa. And that was great kasi the kids were able to experience Christmas in New Year in the Philippines. And kaya lang hindi na namin magawa ngayon yun kasi nga the kids are in higher years na in their schooling. So mahirap ng umabsent kasi ang hirap ng habulin kung may mamiss out sila ngayon. Unlike back then, three years ago, they they were both lower year of high school and I think yung isang elementary pa lang yata noon. So mas madali pa. Although hirap na hirap din sila nung pagbalik na kasi jet lag tapos hinahabol pa nila yung mga assignments and quizzes. So yeah, uh, we don't want to do that again. Okay, so these are the red Christmas balls that my daughter just bought a while ago. Take this out. There you go. Ang cute to. Meron siyang glitter designs, right? Okay, and then we're going to spread in here. Papalibot natin dito. She also bought these red ribbons. Kasi meron tayo dito ng reindeer. We're going to take this out. Palitan na lang natin. Siguro patungan na lang nitong red ribbon na ganyan. Same thing with the other. Yan, 
this is how it looks now with the red balls oh. so much better so naka-spread out yung different red balls all around so parang mas nagkaroon siya ng buhay na yeah that's a good idea darling really nice okay what's next so ito na yung pang finishing touches so you click on the butterflies tinkerbell so all the glittery ornaments the crown yeah this is my favorite ornament here nice And then next, din decorate na yung maliit na Christmas tree with these little cute ornaments. Okay, next, itong si Bambi naman daw. Ayan, so yun na yung bagong looks niya. And then this is the other one. Yeah, then sure. Thank you, darling, for setting up the Christmas tree. You're welcome.